and welcome you all to the first class of economics second year second year economics deals with indian economy total we have 10 units in second year first eight units deals with economic indian economy whereas ninth and 10th chapters deals with telangana state and economic transformation of telangana state then first unit we we'll start first unit with economic growth and development which is very very important from examination point of view also at least we will get weightage of this lesson will be 20 marks okay first i will give introduction about what is economic growth and what is economic development okay this two are very very important questions that we deal by reading indian economy see first it seems to be similar but economists explain various differences between economic growth and economic development first in brief i will explain what is economic growth economic growth is nothing but quantitative changes in output of goods and services and economic development means it includes not only economic growth but also structural changes in the economy all spheres of life first i will explain precisely what is economic growth economic growth see students economic growth as it is an increase in country's real level of national output which can be caused by increase in quality of resources thereby increase in quantity of resources and improvement in technology technology first i will say what the economic growth is nothing but comparative analysis of past with present statistics so whatever there is past see increase in gdp that is past their gdp is 2.5 means in this year 3.5 means increase of growth will be 1% only quantitatively we will measure economic growth that is quantitative increase in goods and services which is caused when there will be increase in goods and services when there is a improvement in technology and when there is a labor efficiency then only we can increase gdp gdp is nothing but gross domestic product economic growth is very very narrow concept compared with economic development then we will go to economic development what is economic development see economic development means it includes not only economic growth not only increase in gdp but also certain changes in all spheres of life what is this all spheres of life means multi dimensional multi dimensional changes in the economy not only social economic political and cultural changes should be continuous throughout it takes it is very very wider concept it takes at least 20 to 20 years to attain economic development see students you know we have achieved independence before for 75 years but after 75 years also now we india is in stage of developing why because of low standard of living and but because of less quality of life because we lack facilities like health education and our standard of living is very very low compared to developed countries but economic development takes each and every aspect every country in the world it wants to achieve multi dimensional changes in their in economy through changes in social political cultural aspects only through 
economic development that means economic development includes economic growth plus increase in standard of living increase in standard of living increase in employment opportunities increase in employment opportunities increase in health facilities so thereby thereby reducing poverty main aspect is reducing poverty when there is a decrease in poverty there will be increase in standard of living increase in employment opportunities increase in health facilities that is the main thing of economic development main aspect of economic development which increases main object of economic development is increase in standard of living but thereby increasing quality of life economic when we achieve economic development there will be self esteem will become self esteem self esteem means what does self confidence in our self that is called self esteem that is called economic development is this concept clear does if once is this concept is clear we will go to what are the essential factors needed for economic growth now you understood what is economic growth economic growth is increase in gdp or increase in value of goods and services from all sectors of economy so what are the essential factors needed for economic growth there are two essential factors which is needed for economic growth first one is increase in real national per capita income this is first if there is economic growth if there is, there is will be increase in national per capita income rather than rather than increase in population even though population there is increase in population there will be there should be increase in per capita income when this can be achieved when there will be increase in per capita income when they there are this this aspect is, takes two things into consideration first rate of savings when they when they will be increase in national income when rate of savings are more when rate of savings are more we can again invest in production of goods and services we will demand more goods and services but then again we can start with production so we can achieve economic growth second one is capital capital output ratio okay what is this capital output ratio increase in economic growth leads to increase in capital investment what is capital investment in business when there will be economic growth when there will be have more investment capital investment when capital investment is put more using technology output will be increase when output is increase again we can achieve economic growth this will be second one second essential factor is economic growth is always linked with always linked with productive ability of economy what is this productive ability we have seen per capita national per capita income we will see what is this productive ability productive means production of goods and services when there will be production of goods and increase in 
production of goods and services first when there is labor labor force increase labor force second one is when there will be again productive ability when we use technology so for economic for achieve this for achieving this productive ability we need efficient labor force as well as usage of technology now these are the two essential factors needed for economic growth first increase in national per capita income and second one is it is linked with productive ability of economy these are two essential things needed for economic growth now we have seen economic growth what is economic growth and now we and essential factors needed for economic growth now we will see what is economic development and when we can say that there is changes in economic development first what is economic development this economic development includes no includes economic growth as well as structural changes in socio economic economic structure there should be changes in socio economic factors of the economy so where there should be changes first change should be structural changes in national output what is this national output okay guys first there should be change in increase change or increase in national output we get income from three sources that is three sectors in a in any economy income will be from three sources that is primary sector second one is secondary sector tertiary sector that is service sector so to have to achieve economic development share of share of agriculture or share of primary share of primary sector should decrease should decrease and shares of secondary and primary so secondary and tertiary sector should increase this is the first change should increase what is first change structural changes in national output first share of primary sector what comes under primary sector share of contribution of national income towards primary sector what comes under primary sector agricultural fishing all comes under primary sector now developing countries like india still most of the share we will get from this primary sector but to achieve this sector uh, economic development there should be decrease from primary sector and share from industrial sector and service sector should increase thereby increasing more output second one is structural changes in industrial production so there should be so most of the labor to achieve economic development most of the labor what they should do they should manufacture final goods they should that is cap manufacture final goods that is manufacturing of capital goods rather than giving importance for consumer goods you know what are capital goods capital goods are machinery and all all comes under capital goods so there should be change in total industrial production more stress should be given for producing capital goods rather than consumer
of my goods. When capital goods increases means what? Technology increases. Everything will get more output from the economy. Third one is structural changes in foreign trade. What is foreign trade? As we know, import and export we call it as foreign trade. To achieve development, so exports should be increased and imports should decrease. Exports of what should be increased? We should export all final goods. Okay, rather the consumer goods. Imports in consumer goods should increase as well as exports of final goods also should increase. Then we can achieve what? Economic development. Mainly students, we should be self-reliant. So, exports we should minimize. See what? Imports and we should in encourage more exports. Then only we can increase national income. So, what should be this foreign trade means? Exports of final goods or capital goods should be exported and we should also try to, we should minimize import of consumer goods. Then only we can achieve, we can say that we are in the stage of development. Fourth one is structural changes in technology. What is technology? Modernization. Modernization is called technology. Using modernization. Using more technology, we can provide, produce more goods and services. So, every country now want, every country, what is economic development means? Transformation of an economy from old means primitive method to towards modernized when we can achieve, when there is structural changes in technology, more that is called modernization. By using more technology, we can produce more goods and services. When we can use more technology, when we have good education, then only labor, efficiency of labor will be increased, then only there will be increase in technology. Fourth point is Structural changes in social and institutional social and institutional. So there should be structural changes in social and institutional. As I said, once we say that we have achieved economic development means our self-esteem. Means self-esteem will increase thereby increasing standard of living. That is called institutional. Institutional means what? How we are producing institution. I said more industry depend on more industries rather than primary sector. We we depend more on service, infrastructure will be developed, everything, telecommunication, everything will develop means what? We will be, we will become self-esteem and self-confidence, thereby we achieve quality of life. Economic development mainly stresses on quality of life rather than quantity. Main difference is between economic growth is measured quantitatively whereas economic development measures both quantitative as well as quantitative, quantitative as well as quality spheres of economy. With this we have finished the concept of economic growth and economic development. Okay. Till now we have seen what is economic growth, factors influencing economic growth, economic development, what are the structural changes in economic development. Now we will see everyone, this is very very important concept girls, 
from examination point of view you may get this question this for concept for 10 marks so listen very carefully first what is economic growth i said so first difference of economic growth is economic growth means increase in output of goods and services that is increase in gross domestic product that is for gdp increase in gross domestic product and i said as i said it only measures economic growth means for increase of output quantity quantitatively that is increase of output quantitatively is for economic growth then what is economic development economic development as i said it is wider concept compared to economic growth so economic growth includes economic growth in economic development includes economic growth plus multi-dimensional multi-dimensional changes in socio-economic structure of an economy so what is this girls? economic development is wider concept so increase in quantity plus quality is measured by economic development it includes not only economic growth but multi dimensional changes in socio economic structure what is changes in socio economic structure as i discussed this economic development is never ever ending process. It takes at least 20 to 25 years to achieve economic development. So, this is social transformation. Social transformation of primitive society towards modernization. That is what increase in standard of living. Main concept of economic development stresses mainly on increase in quality of life means what girls increase in standard of living say for example we say that india america is developed country india is developing country on what basis we'll say for us car having car is luxury having basic effort but in, in india having car is luxury but whereas in usa like, like developed countries like USA, having car is essential. That is for standard of living. So, why there is low standard of living in developing countries like India? Main thing is poverty. Because of poverty, there is less employment. Because of less employment, there is less income. Because of we don't have even health facilities. But economic development mainly stresses on what increasing standard of living thereby decreasing poverty decreasing unemployment main thing is in india rich becoming richer and richer and poor becoming poorer and poorer why because of income inequalities main stress of economic development is reducing this income inequalities that's why economic development measure both quantity as well as quality. Third difference is economic growth is single dimensional. Whereas economic development is multi dimensional. So it, economic growth is single dimensional means only increase in GDP. Multi-dimensional means it includes economic growth plus socio-economic.
economic structure of the society. Fourth difference is intervention of government in producing goods and services is not as necessary. So what is this in economic growth? Is to increase goods and increase goods and services. So intervention of government is not necessary. But economic development, what, what is economic development? There should be changes in society. So in an economy. So compulsory intervention of government is necessary. So without intervention of government, we cannot achieve the economic development. Next one is economic growth deals with traditional approach. Whereas economic development deals with deals with modern approach. What is this tradition? Traditional means old. According to economic growth, what does it say? Take care of growth. Poverty will be eliminated. So what does it say? Take care of growth. Poverty will be eliminated. This follows trickle down approach. Trickle down approach. What is this trickle down approach means? Flow of income from rich, flow of wealth from rich people to poor people. See students, if income of rich people increases or if an income of rich people increases, what they will do? They will invest again in producing goods and services. When there is demand for goods and services, we need more labor. When labor is there, will the labor will get income. So when there is growth, what does economic growth say? When there is growth, poverty, poorness is eliminated. That is called trickle down approach. But what does this economic development stresses on? Take care of poverty. Growth will be achieved by itself. What does it say? If there is no poverty, so it is they can produce more goods and services. So that's it. economic development says take care of poverty. Growth will be achieved by itself. Okay. Sixth difference is faster economic growth can be achieved through per capita increase in per capita income means through per capita income and technology. So economic growth is increase in per capita income GDP plus what technology. So faster when we can say there is faster economic growth when there is increase in technology. But economic development means Increase in socio sorry. <laughs> economic development can be achieved when there is increase in quality of life. So it can foster economic growth means for use of technology that is increasing education. Faster economic development means increase in quality of life. Next difference is economic growth is economic growth it is short term process. Short term process that is for a period of 
वन मीटर वेर एज इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट इट इज इट इज लॉन्ग टर्म प्रोसेस लॉन्ग टर्म प्रोसेस मीन्स वॉट सो टू वॉट इज इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ आई से इंक्रीज इन आउटपुट ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस विद इन ए पीरियड ऑफ वन इयर सो इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ इज शॉर्ट टर्म प्रोसेस इट टेक्स इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ टेक्स विद इन ए पीरियड ऑफ वन इयर बट इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट इज ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट चेंजेस इन क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ स्ट्रक्चर सो इट इट इज लॉन्ग टर्म प्रोसेस एटलीस्ट इट टेक्स ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव इयर्स फॉर अचीविंग दिस economic development next one is it is relevant concept for developed states it is related to developing economies so it is relevant concept means what relevant it is related to developed countries why already developed means they achieve self sufficiency in grow but economic development for whom we want economic development for developing countries there should be changes in society structural changes so it is related this economic development is developing countries next one is it is narrow concept it is wide means what it is very very narrow concept it includes only increasing goods but it is wide concept there should be social change may or may not necessary in achieving this economic growth but social change is wider concept it includes changes in economy so these are the main differences between what economic growth and economic development girls we know we have seen what is economic growth economic development differences factors of economic economic growth and factors of economic structural changes in economic development now we will see objectives of economic development what are the objects needed for economic development to have economic first object of economic development is high rate of growth growth in gdp growth in national income all developing countries like india and china are achieving a high rate of growth so this is started in india this concept of increasing growth okay increasing gdp national income has started with five year plans introduction of five year plans before planning era the economic gdp is only 3.73% with 2.5% of, of percent of population and 1% of per capita income so before planning period so you know you know all about five year plans we started after independence 48 we started with five year plans before that gdp is very less that is only 3.73 percent but in of increase in population is 2.5 and 1% increase in 1% of per capita income but 6 7 Eight five-year plans gave more importance for this increase in growth. So we achieve first six to five-year plan five point six, 
then 5.6.5 and 6.8%. So, which plants give? 6, 7, 8, 5 year plants give more importance for increasing economic growth, increasing national income that is it has increased from 3.73 to 5.6, 6.5, 6.8, 6.8. But 8th, 9th plan, 9th 5 year plan wants to achieve 9% growth. Now it is not sufficient girls, even though it is 9%. China achieved okay, 10% but India did not achieve this target of 9% because of heavy pressure of population. Growth is very very less. Okay, then next one is self-reliance. What is self-reliance? I said standing on one's leg. One one's leg. Means I said as I said first we have to decrease imports. We should give less. In, we should decrease imports and we should try to give more importance for exports. Till third five year plan. They did not stress on self-reliance. Before independence, after independence also, there were two years till third five year plan. What we did even consumer goods, agricultural goods are also, we are getting, we are, we have, we have been exported from, they have been imported from developed countries. But third five year plan, so try to reduce, try to reduce please. Import, uh, try to reduce this imports and we have imports became minimized and we have increased exports of manufacturing goods capital goods also this is possible only this is possible only when we become self reliant we should minimize imports if we does not restrict this imports what happens developed countries take advantage so second objective of economic development is self-reliance what is self-reliance standing on one's own leg means what minimize imports and increase exports is for self-reliance next one is social justice third objective of economic development is social justice what is this social justice as i said in india rich becoming richer and poor becoming poorer that because of income inequalities 80 percent of indian assets are held by 80 percent of assets are held by rich people whereas 20 percent of assets are held by what middle class and poor people this shows social injustice once if we achieve social justice that then only we can achieve economic development this can be possible by four methods first one is by adhering to the principles of democracy politically we should follow democratic principles you know for the people to the people so there should be democratic principles second one is reducing regional imbalances in india we see some states are more developed and some states are less developed this kind of regional disparities should be reduced to achieve the objectives of economic development third one means we should follow decentralization process what is decentralization means so centralization process means everything power flows from okay higher so central to state now we have seen niti ayo the planning commission is example of decentralization process now planning commission has been uh, has been transformed into niti ayo what is this niti ayo means decentralized process means from villages to states planning should be from start from lower authority lower states to upper states that is called decentralization process and second one is social last one is social justice can be achieved only by development of what 
backward classes scheduled cast and scheduled tax this is what is social justice the means the proper income then we should reduce income inequalities next one is economic stability stability means what stable stable means everything so growth everything should be continuous it should one year it should not be higher than year it should not be less so growth should be there should growth should be stable that is following non inflationary and self related what is inflation thus increase in price of goods and services so it can objective of economic stability can be achieved only through self inflationary and self reliant self reliant means what depending on import should be less and the export should be more then last one is inclusive growth this is very very important to achieve the objective of economic development what is inclusive growth growth means as i said have increase in output of goods and services so inclusive when we can achieve this economic development not with growth simply increase in gdp there should be increase in employment increase in income increase in health conditions so yes, growth should take care of everything there by increasing standard of living even though there is increase in population that is called inclusive growth what is inclusive growth means growth should take care not only production of goods and services but it is or it should be adjusted in such a way that there is an increase in level of employment education okay income distribution everything that is for in even though there is an increase in population it should be adjusted that is called inclusive growth so today students we will end this topic with objectives of economic growth and development tomorrow i will continue with in indicators of economic development characteristics of developed country characteristics of developing country with special reference to india is it clear okay thank you students